Welcome back to another video. Today I have three different DVR head units right in front of me. They have a front camera and a back camera and they're recording all the time when it's plugged in. And at the end of the video, I will have an honorable mention. We have the Enon P4, the CKN radio, and the Carpride W903. I'm just gonna do a quick and dirty comparison. As you can see, these two from the front face look pretty dang similar. They are arguably the same. However, there are some differences and I'll get to them in a second. And this is the worst one I've had to date and I'll go over why in a few. First test, let's see how fast they boot up. I'm just going to unplug them here. So I think this one was the fastest. This one's right behind it because it's and finally this one. <laughs> now what I find pretty interesting is that these two boot around the same time. However, the price differences is pretty vast. So let's go over the physical differences between these head units. So to do a direct comparison, here's the Carpurad unit. Front fascia looks pretty dang similar, except it has Carpurad written right there. If you look at the Eonon, the bezel does look quite different between this, the Carpurad unit and the Eonon. So the Eonon has, I'd say a little bit thicker of a bezel and the mic is in a different location compared to the Carpurad. Carpurad's mic is a little bit higher. The thickness of both the units are pretty comfortable. This is a Carpurad, this is the Enon P4. Same width. However, this Carpurad is slightly shorter compared to the Enon P4, and that's probably due to, once again, its bezel. This is the Carpurad unit. It has a camera right here, which can rotate any which way you like. It has, of course, a detachable mount, which you can put a suction cup mount instead if you wanted to, instead of using this 3M tape. It has the aux, SD card, Real camera in and a USB-C plug-in, which is what I love to see, especially at this price point. And at the top is the power button, which feels pretty nice. Taking gander at the carb ride, the rear is slightly different. The mount is, first of all, a nicer mount. You can raise this camera, which can go all the way up, and it can rotate, which is actually a pretty cool feature. You can, if you're an Uber, you can record what's going on in the car. And of course, you can raise the mount and lower it. Which is pretty cool. Coming to the side, we have the aux, SD card, rear camera in, and USB-C once again. So pretty much the same thing back here. And power buttons placed to the side on the car ride unit, which feels a little bit nicer compared to the Enon P4. And I guess it's time to mention the CKN radio. I don't see a mic inlet, so that is a big no-no. The power button is a terrible power button. I'm literally pressing it and it's not turning off. You gotta press it very hard. There you go. The camera's okay, it rotates. This does nothing. And CKN Radio also has a USB-C rear camera, SD card, and finally the aux. And it's slightly thicker compared to the carb ride unit. And finally, this mount is hard mounted. And that's not why I don't like this head unit. I don't like the head unit because of the audio quality. Do you have another head unit that is worth mentioning? It's the Lamto 9.25. The head unit, I compared directly to this unit. I made a video recently about the CKN Radio and the, uh, the Lamto 926, whatever you want to call this one. Overall, these two do the same thing. However, this one, is much higher quality from the build to its latency to everything. They basically do the same job. The power button, you can actually press it. This one is like, is barely even there. But that's not why this one is so bad. It's so bad because it can't do the main thing it's supposed to be doing and that's connecting to your radio via FM transmission. The audio quality is so terrible. See, listen to this comparison. That's exactly why I do not like this unit and I cannot recommend it. The company cut a lot of corners to be able to price it at $100. The Lamto is just a few extra dollars and it's significantly better. But that Lamto that I compared directly to this one is arguably comparable to these guys. I sold it with the car whenever I sold my Mercedes 300D, otherwise I would still have it. It's a really good head unit and I figured the new owner could probably use it. Having a front and back camera is insanely important in my opinion. Now, here's the audio quality for the Enon P4. Thanks to the same point five. Let's play. That sounds pretty good. Go home, go, we can press FM here to change the audio output. We do Bluetooth connection. So we want to confirm. We want to connect through here through Bluetooth. And I'm connected through my phone. If you have another unit that also uses CarPlay and you're trying to do both units, you, you go to the Bluetooth connection connected to the, your stock unit, press this, 
and turn off CarPlay so it doesn't connect to that unit and have issues going back and forth. So I'm only connected to that unit via CarPlay, to this head unit via Bluetooth, but also connected to that head unit via Bluetooth using Apple CarPlay. And now here's the audio quality for the Carptroid W903. Here we will also go to A7.5. You see that it's actually pretty quick. There you go. Fuzzies went away because we're on the same radio station. And now we just play here. And as you can tell, that sounds significantly better. Play either on your head unit or here. So that's how you get some crisp. Now let's go over the UI on the CarPlay and the ENI. So we have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, AirPlay, Android Cast, Wi-Fi, audio output, playback, and settings. Of course we have the camera, so we can go to the camera. And of course the functions on the camera is the same as well. You have, you can lock the loop, you can take a photo, you can go home, microphone, and stop and start recording. Let's go and go home. I'm gonna to go to settings. Home, settings. You know what looks the same? We have Screen saver, split screen mode, which they both work. Brightness, assisted touch, and clear connection. Let's go to camera, camera. But now let's go on to resolution. The car product can only go up to 2.5K, while the Enon can go to 4K, and it has all the rest of the same stuff. Now since we changed the resolution, let's go ahead and see what it looks like. You can almost read everything on the, uh, down here. So that's not too bad. That's the CarpTri W903, now the Eonon. Um, I think it's arguably this pretty similar resolution. Let's go and press record it here. It says 4K, but it just looks so much more worse. However, you can kind of make out the words. It's not too bad. Of course, it's different audio outputs, it has a speaker, Bluetooth, FM, and AUX, as same as this one. These interfaces are almost the same thing. Now, before I go over the prices of these units, let's go ahead and compare the footage. I will only be comparing the CarPlay and Eonon footage because Seeking Radio I just cannot recommend and I don't have the Lamto with me anymore. Otherwise I would be comparing that. So I have the camera wired up, going all the way back to the back window up here. And the Eonon camera does have a longer wire, something to note if you have a very long car. You can see the camera's right inside of here. This is my own camera for the head unit up front. So this is the daytime footage by CarPlay. And check out that turned over dump truck. Now let's go to Eonon. And the qualities both look pretty dang good. It's just that Eonon is a bit more uh, contrasty. Now here's some daytime rear footage with the carp ride, and you can almost clearly see that license plate. So that's pretty good. With the Eonon, you can see it pretty good as well. And I just noticed that the image quality is backwards and you can change that in the settings. Here's the front footage at nighttime as we creep out to this Cadillac. You can pretty much make out that license plate, so that's pretty solid. And same with the Anon, except it's just a lot more contrasty, so the darks are a lot darker. And now we got into the rear camera, and we can pretty clearly see that license plate as it creeps up behind us. And the Anon is arguably not as good. A little bit more granny here. Overall, I think the Carpenter Ride unit has better front and rear camera footage. But is it worth the extra price? Enon selling the P4 for $149, and Carpturide is selling their W903 for $269. So it's over $100 more, but you do get better camera quality. That might be a solid trade-off. The CK radio is $100, and that Lamto I was just talking about is $126. For the price, the Enon and the Lamto are pretty freaking solid. You get the front camera, rear camera recording 24 seven, and although the camera quality isn't all that great, it's better than nothing, and it should help you on any uh, collisions that may or may not happen. Knock on wood, that doesn't happen. But, but the Carp Drive most likely has a superior computer within it, which allows it to record in higher quality. Same with the cameras, the cameras are probably higher quality. And that's what you're paying for in the Carp Drive unit. If you don't care about the DVRs and the cameras and all that fun stuff, then check out this video. This is Chris, always appreciate the spectrum out there. I'll see you next time.